What are they? What, are they? Yeah. what for me? Yeah. That's not coral. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now then, reefers, I'm at Aquafest today. It's been a busy morning. We are in the afternoon now, 11 o'clock, and um, already so much coral has gone. Let's have a look around the shop, see what's going on, and we'll speak to some of the reefers who have already purchased equipment and corals. There's lots of corals gone. Leon, where's Leon? A guy came at 8.30 this morning to buy a Goni, and uh, Goni had gone. Goni had gone. <laughs> Your uh, Goni gone story from this morning. What, the one one I meant to buy? What time did you get here? Half eight. To buy a to buy a gunny. A little one. <laughs> and it were gone. It were gone. gone so I gone. bought the biggest one that they had. <laughs> the actual it took that it was that big, it, it took up all of that space, well, didn't it? It, it was there. Look how small it is in there. That ain't one I bought. <laughs> it's a grower, not a shower. It's a grower, not a shower. It's tiny. I'll just have to move some into another tank. Tell us your reef, uh, your reef in the can. It's uh, Whitley Ridge Reefers. And we're going to be doing a video at Leon's place with you. Three tanks, but Three maybe tanks, four. Four. Maybe four, hopefully yeah. four. <laughs> so you bought your gunny today. What's your favourite coral that you keep at the minute? My favourite coral are elegances. Elegances? Yeah. That new, the, the blue tip yeah. one that you got? In fact, yeah. So a week ago, didn't we? Let's come and get involved. Yeah, come on. Come on, you'll look this after is, this. This person who looks after the tank. Yeah. Chief water tester. Yeah. And overfeeder. Yes. <laughs> overfeeder. <laughs> What's your favourite coral? Bubble coral. Bubble coral. And you had a. You have a, uh, you had a, you had a coral that you loved, but just got eaten alive by a yes. tank. Yeah, by a vicious purple yeah, tank. Sayonara. Yes, I love cyanaras. I like um, scallops, and we got a bubble from here that looked like that. Yeah. But it's now ten times the size of that. Yeah, your corals are insane. I can't wait to get uh, around yeah, to your house. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, I love it. So your role in the house is, is feeding and testing the water. Yes. Yeah, well, maintaining yeah. everything while I'm away. Spend most of my time away. Lucky guy. Skimmer yeah. fixer. Skimmer fixer? What's when the skimmer's not bubbling properly, um, I strip it apart, clean it, put it together. <laughs> oh, she's like a mechanic. <laughs> I've never is seen that, that like that, it. It, it, it. She's got skimmer into 16 different pieces and it's like, yeah, sound. <laughs> wow. So we're going to be going round to Leon's and showing his three tanks, one tank of which is just a beast. And yeah. He's got massive. Love How many liters is that? Yeah, it's a 900. So I've got a 900, 250 and a 140. What are you dosing? Modern Reef. Modern Reef. Best thing ever. And what's light in your tank? E, uh, X, what are they? XR30s. Okay. Are they yeah. which gen are they? Gen 6. Gen 6s as well. Three of them. Yeah, they are all Gen And dosing tank. Modern Sorry. Reef through that is unreal. It's been great. It really is unreal. I, you, you, went, you only recently switched them on. Yeah, 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 but I used a guy in Australia who set it all up for me. In fact, I'll do a mention, ready. Isn't he? He's a good guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we should probably pause and resume at your house because yeah, his, tank sound, is, his tanks are insane. Cheers, yeah. buddy. Cheers, Leon. <laughs> There's a stand already set up, which is Aquaprint, and Johnny is here. Johnny? Hello. Can you talk us through some of these wonderful products? So we've brought a few bits here. We've got our modular frag rack range, um, obviously the baskets as well, yeah. part of that modular range. Yeah, love the basket. Uh, we've brought uh, our bio ball stands, our classics, um, in our seven different colours we offer. Nice. Um, and we've also brought some new products today, so one you know. Yeah, this is, I, you'll have seen this on my Instagram already. Really cool piece of kit. Dippers, yeah. and uh, they're actually on offer today. Is that the Johnny as well? There is, yes. So we've got the, that's the one litre dipper, and we've got the two litre dipper version. Question is, did you see the size of that gunny that Leon bought? The yeah, big, yeah. Could he's you gonna, big enough for that? He's gonna need our big dipper XL for that one. <laughs> <laughs> there, is, there is a bigger version of these. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're not out yet. Brought a few other bits, so our new Reef Factory Reef Flare S shades. Yeah. We do the M as well, but we haven't brought any. Yeah. And we've also brought the, which is nearly sold out of, which is yeah. Ecotech Radian. I'm using them as well, they're great. You are? Yeah. Yep. So we've, we've sold a few of them today already. Um, and that's about it, really, just to select The feeders, though. Things. You've not, Yeah, some of the feeders. I'm using, actually, Joe, I'm using one of the Nori feeders. Yep. Uh, one of these in blue. And these, I think these are cracking, because do you want to show us the, I will, yeah. the lid? Because these are great for butterflies, aren't they? Yeah, so the, the idea is you put a, a cube of frozen in there, and then by putting this lid on, which is flexible, 
um, you can then basically lock in the food and only the butterfly can get its mouth through to eat the food yeah. and it's flexible so you yeah. can't hurt the butterfly in the process magnetic work up to 20 mil and yeah they're really well thought out that Johnny. great seller then we've not spoke about them you've over skimmed them Yes, the the hats. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the plungers. Yeah, the cracking. Just a new one. It's um, ridiculous. Believe it or not, they're selling really well. Yeah. Uh, these are probably the two most popular hats. Yeah, um, yeah. AAC have just received a load of these. I they, saw their they posts, ask, yeah. They yeah. asked for more of these two specifically. <laughs> uh, Keep it up. Love it, Johnny. Cheers, mate. Let's have a look at the fish. Not the freshwater stuff. I'm not bothered about that. <laughs> joking. <laughs> Here with Katie. Uh, half of uh, radical numbers. <laughs> How many of there is your four of you? Twenty-five percent each. Mm. You're a big. You're a big. We part have of it. the big shares. Yeah, so. you're the big part of it, Katie. Yeah, yeah. Liam. Hey, Liam. Hey, yeah. So many nice tropical fishing. There's fish down here. I saw them earlier. What are they? Really weird, transparent fish that look yeah, like the glass catfish. Glass catfish. So they're a shawl type of catfish. Um, uh, they are really cool. They tend to be quite good in community tank as long as they don't have really small fish because they might take smaller fish. Oh really? Mm -hmm. They're super transparent. Frogs, we know frogs. We've got frogs. That was a nice bait of them there. Wow, beautiful. What type is that, Liam? So that's a male Dumbo. A Dumbo? Yeah. Lovely frilly tail. Really, really nice fish. What's your favourite fish on your trop section? Today, what would you pick? Uh, in here? Yeah. XL Brockish Corridorus, so they're hog nose Brockish wild from Peru. It gets about five inch, and some large ones at the back as well. Oh, wow, yeah. But they're sharing that with these discus. Perfectly fine with discus. Yeah. Come to, they usually love to go in the wild, same with the cupid cichlids are in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stunning. There he is, Mick from MBM Aquarium. <laughs> MBM Aquarium, the man himself. How you doing? Hi, hello. How's it going? Uh, mental. I just got there, volunteering, helping everybody out. SPS Geeks are us. SPS Geeks are us. Phyto there. I just picked a bottle of this Zero stuff up, and you will see why when I do my second part of my ICP video. There's a cat. Hello. Hello, dog. Hello. Hello. We've got Carly and Chris. Hello. How are you doing? Good, you? Yeah, good. How have, how's Aquafresh been? What have you bought up to date? A can and a talk target. You bought an A can and a talk? Yeah. Nice. Which one did you get? Well, the A cans. I've got the small one over there in the corner. Right in the corner. There's a small one over there. It's already been boxed away. The red one? Oh, that was lovely. Yeah, that was lovely. I'm yeah. going into an A-cam man now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a few in my tank now, so I'm kind of untalked. As... So, how long have you guys been, uh, how long have you been reefing? A year now. A year? A year? Yeah, just... I've been a year. So you're not past the threshold of uh, this, say, 60, as it's 16 months, if you're staying after 16 months, you're in it for life. Yeah, I've got mine a year, a year this month. A year this month? I've been restarted. This guy knows the stats. Andy, what's the figure on if you're in the hobby for X amount of time, you're in it forever? Is it is it 16 months? No, it's three and a half days. No, it isn't. <laughs> it's three and a half days. Three and a half days, as long as you don't get white spot. No, we're 16 months. Oh, so, you've had it been in a year. What tank have you got? I've got a Red Sea 170. Yeah. And then you've got a D&D. &D. <laughs> Favourite thing about the hobby? Fish. Fish? Yeah. Coral. Just coral, just fish. Out. Perfect match. Perfect match. I do love fish, but I can't yeah. more coral now. All right, okay. As time's gone on. Favourite coral? Yeah, torches for me. Yeah, any particular torch? I've got quite uh, the 24k uh, torches there, one yeah, of my yeah. favourite ones. Yeah. The banana torch, I did have one, but it died unfortunately. Yeah. I had one and they're nice when they come out. Uh, A cans are nice. Yeah. yeah. I kind of love growing them now. Um, hammers and stuff I've kind of struggled with to keep really at the minute. Hammers? It's weird because if you can keep torches, hammers are, I've usually been alright with hammers. Oh no, I've struggled every time. Really? I've got four torches in my tank and they're loving them, but hammers I've just struggled with. Yeah. Any SPS? Oh, yeah, no. Not bothered. Not nah, you know, not I'm not 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 not. My mate's an Acro man at the minute, oh, yeah. he, he loves Acros. He used to be a torch man, then all his died and he's gone back to Acros and starting again, sort of thing. Fair enough, but, yeah, um, fair enough. Carly, for fish wise, what's your favourite fish? My Nemo's. My Nemo's. Nemo's. So you've come and you're going now, is that right? Yeah, well, I was. Where are you going back? I'm going back down south tomorrow, but we're going back to Earth tonight. So where's your LFS then if you're down south? Where do you usually go? Um, we'll go to Tees Reef in Birmingham. That's we? number one, or AAC sometimes. Oh, AAC, oh. yeah. AAC. <laughs> Look, Paul actually took me to his house to see his, his breeding seahorses, and these tanks literally, we, we left and within six hours to give birth, so we just missed it. Yeah, it's his breeding seahorses, it's crazy. <laughs> So 
with Joshua from Joshua Reef. How are you doing, Josh? How's it doing, guys? Where have you come from today? You come uh, I've come down from Sunderland, so it's been uh, been a little drive. Nice but one, yeah. It's not uh, not too far, thankfully. Yeah, good, good. You picked some up. So what have you got today? You just... Uh, just a couple of uh, sort of like a a bit of a Pikachu style um, Acropora, and yeah. then there was a, another which is a bit of a, an unnamed piece, um, sort of a, a yellowy goldy base with uh, some red polyps in it. Yeah, yeah. So uh, hopefully we'll uh, be able to bring the colours out of that. Nice. How's yeah. things going with the tank? Good so far. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're sort of getting into a phase now, like sort of growth. Mm -hmm. um, we corals have sort of found their, their place in the tank. Yeah. Um, everything seems to have settled down. So now we're approaching a year. Yeah. We're sort of hitting that yeah, yeah. stride. Yeah. Um, things are staying a lot cleaner. Uh, and it's a point now where I can just sort of sit back, just maintain my yeah, parameters, yeah. make sure everything stays as stable as possible. Yeah. You all know, SPS loves that stability. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, we can if we can keep things nice and stable, then hopefully yeah. we can continue on the, the growth phase and uh, eventually be at a point where we're no longer yeah. frags. We're at small colonies. So. so we had a chat earlier about what you were dosing as well. I'm running uh, Kalkwasser to pretty much my maximum uh, daily evaporation, which is 1.6 liters. Okay. Um, That's that. <laughs> <laughs> 1 .6 <laughs> 1 .6 liters. 1.6 liters. 1.6 liters. Yeah, it's low, really. Isn't it? But, um, yeah, so running that to to the evaporation level. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, we're doing Tropic Marin all for reef to fill the gap between the two because we're already at yeah. a point where Calcosa doesn't cover. Uh, yeah. the uptake that the corals have on a daily basis so we're using the yeah, all three yeah. for that and then because we've not got the trace elements trace being replaced course, yeah. there I'm using the Tropic Marin Pro Coral Mineral as well that's a really I've, so that's really a really good way of doing it so Josh advice for people who maybe with my question personally because I've just started to get into SPS just picked up a Bally Slimer yeah um, advice for people who want to keep SPS that you could say in a nutshell I would just say pay attention um, pay attention and just do your tests mm -hmm. be nice and regular you can get into that regime of testing on a weekly basis yeah. even if it's just your major your three major yeah. elements obviously you're going to keep an eye on you know your salinity things yeah. like that. that that's a given um, but your three major elements your alk yeah. your calcium your magnesium and then even your ph make sure your ph is in a good range because that obviously needs to be to allow for the growth what's your ph in your tank between 8.2 and 8.4 favorite coral what's your favorite one <sighs> Well, it's going to be an acropora of some sort. Um, I would maybe go with hyacinthus. Okay. Yeah. And any plans for any uh, any bigger tanks or any other tanks? As, uh, as soon as I set this one up, there was always a plan for a bigger tank. It's, it's <laughs> sort of, you step up in there, you, you go from small, medium, large. Um, the idea of this tank is hopefully to grow it out in such a way that it can be just literally a transition. Yeah. Lift the rockscape out, move it into the next tank, because that will form yeah. part of a bigger aquascape. Because I, I, I like yeah, the body yeah, style yeah, yeah. of a different island. So the idea I love the way you did the plug as well you, you kind of like knew where you were putting everything you. you know when you set it up because I was following it from day yeah, one yeah. you set the scape up and you had the little um, yeah. the places where you kind of already visualised what you were yeah. putting and obviously it's growing out now well you, you did a post the other day with your I think it's four month or something five month update or something. what was it um, that was I think around nine months nine now. months yeah, yeah, yeah. There, was only, there, was only, there were only six photos on there so, so only, that's, that's probably why yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but um, yeah the growth being, and crazy the, those, plugs are, those plugs are perfect because like you say if, if something's not happy you don't have to worry about glue it's just lift it, just move lift it. it, move it, yeah. 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 Or if you want to frag something, lift it, yeah, yeah. move it. Um, it. It's so much more convenient. I think Josh out, Josh or Reef, that's right. Josh, Josh Reef, yeah. or Reef on Instagram, and um, we'll hopefully come back with a visit to yours, yeah. Be awesome, mate. Safe travels, buddy. Nice to see you, mate. Yeah. Take care. Cheers. You're gonna get some fight, or dad? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Are you actually buying something? Yeah. What are you buying? Um, strawberry basslet. Are you getting a strawberry basslet? Uh, where's it gone? Oh, they sold it. Oh yeah, it's there. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Sexy pink, it's coming my way. Beautiful, that, isn't it? It's only small as well. Look at that. I mean, uh, that's the um, Palmer Angel. That is a belter. Probably not, not good with coral, though. Not, no, not compatible. They'd eat it all. Well, at least you got a fish. Very healthy. Yeah, yeah, fish. What are you going to call it? I'm what are you going to call it? I'm just going to call it Sexy Pink. Sexy Pink? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Breeding tank as well. Yeah, so, but you want to make sure your fish don't eat them. Odds. So the combination is the key to success. See, like little white dots in there as well. Yeah. So they're rotifers. It's a mixed culture, that. Both pods are rotifers. Do you do the walls? Your job. It gets up on a side. On a Saturday, it's the weekend, don't we? So we've got a shipment coming in from America in the next couple of weeks where we're getting additional species of coffee pods and additional species of phytoplankton. 
Are you going to get some fight or dad? 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. 100%. What did you say? <laughs> it looks like that Aldi bit of minster. And then can I, can I grab one of these as well? These, oh, these it's another fight to Al. Two aside for me. Just on there. I'm not working. I'm just stuck <laughs> You should have got me some of them bottles. Get a litre bottle. You ain't got any litres. Oh, I, I got a litre. I got a litre. You saw me your litre bottle. No, I, I told you my litre bottle, I need it. You saw me your litre bottle. You're only just getting started. Any corals you want? Um, I've been looking, like, I want them all. So I did want to get a fish, but it's gone. A little scooter, Blenny. It was a, uh, a ruby scooter, but it's gone. Sold. So something very adorable down here. Very adorable. Oh, come on. Oh, I know. This little fish. I know, he's looking. great, isn't he? He's great. Aww. He keeps coming up to you. Look at him, dude. Oh, yeah, of course he is. He's so cute. Do you like him? Yeah. Oh, my. Do not be fooled by those eyes, though. Yeah. Little spitters out, they'll spit at you then. <laughs> what do you think? He's so cute. Yeah, He's cute, kiss isn't he? It. I could kiss him. It's weird, though. He's gorgeous. Yeah, look at the streamers. Beautiful, Beautiful isn't it? It's Leon's. He uh, designed that. Logo. I just no, designed by me. Oh, you should see the picture of you before it was finished. Oh, it was terrible. I was drawing it out. Let me show you. They started. Look, that's how Leon. <laughs> well, I saw it out, didn't I? I didn't put that one out. That was the start of it. Well, you didn't send me that. Saw it out. <laughs> you were there when I was drawing it, wasn't you? I don't know. I can't myself. You can't send me that across. You need to redo it. So this guy here, Matt, got the axolotls. See you later. And um, the kids obviously want axolotls, don't they? Yeah. And Matt, you were saying how easy they are to keep. Yeah, they're hard to start off with, but once you get used to them, they're, and once they're old and grow up a bit more, they're, they're great. What's his name? One's called Magic, one's called Zorro. Yeah. <laughs> cold water as well? Yeah, cold water. Like, they're generally really hardy. And yeah. uh, Matt, you've got D&D? Yeah, D&D 900. How long have you been in the hobby? Just, just under two years. So yeah. we started with an all-in-one and then moved across to yeah. what, and now a sump system, which is... And changes your life. <laughs> loads easier, loads easier. What did you end up picking up today? Um, so I've got just a simple um, sort of aqua print stuff at the moment. Um, Good old Johnny, yeah. And I'm going to grab a uh, 24k torch as you well. You get one of the 24k's? Yeah. I got one of those. Which, show me which one. Let's it's have a look. Beautiful, aren't they? I've got one torch at the moment. I just want to add and create a bit more. So you've only got one, one, one torch? Yeah, just the one. What, so. what other coral have you got in there? Um, it's just a simple green one, I think. It's, it's probably not even like a blue tip or a white tip. It's just a yeah. simple green torch. I don't know. Probably a little more like the one that's in the mm. yeah, end yeah. up here. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've got it quite high in my tank. Um, I used to have a really it's a bit dark, high, and now I've got it quite high, yeah, yeah. and it seems to be absolutely loving it. Like, do you know what your power is? No idea. I've never tested it. I'd love to. You should I've just never got round to buying the kit or hiring the kit yeah, to do, yeah, it. do it. But I was just like, oh, I'll put it high, see how it does. Yeah, yeah. And if I can, I'll just, I'll just break it off and see how it gets on. So but it seems to be doing very well. So, so either the power up there is just right for it, yeah. which means you wouldn't be able to have SBS. <laughs> yeah. Like no, I did for some. I'm, I just, I just like, I really like LPS. I don't really want to step into the SBS I just I love my LBS it's something that I've really gelled with and enjoyed I'm with um, you on that at the minute but I know everyone probably says that and then changes after well, it's like the time. <laughs> I got a, I got my first SBS uh, about a month ago which was um, a Bally Slimer okay. and it's done so well and uh, then I threw another I think it was a bird's nest or something I mean because they grow so quickly you get a lot more like oh it grows yeah, yeah, exactly. whereas because the LBS is so slow yeah, yeah. there is a certain amount where you go oh it's just it's, please do something but yeah no, it's been nice Talk to you, man. Nice to meet you. Appreciate it. See ya. Yeah. Aquafest is finishing in half an hour. Coral tables are looking a lot, uh, a lot emptier than they were earlier. Had fun. Yes. Yeah. We got nothing though today. No, I know. I feel like we need to get something. What can we get? Fungi. Beautiful. Fungi. I'll bag up my own coral. That's what I'll do. Where's your bags? Oh yeah. We'll bag up the hammer garden. Hammer time. Right, we've got this one with nice bright gold one on it, yeah? Look at that. Oh, 
my gosh. Fantastic job with that, Steph. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs>